very good afternoon to all. Welcome to our weekly Talixia Connect. Thank you all for joining today. Uh, so we can see 30 odd people have joined and people are still joining. Uh, our today's topic of discussion is item wise costing and tally prime. Our expert for today is Rajendra Mithari. Rajendra sir has a master of costing and commerce. So he's the best person to explain us the concepts of costing. And uh, as the costing, he's an expert. He's also an expert in tally. He is dedicatedly working with as a tally trainer since 2004. And uh, Rajendra sir is also a faculty at ICI courses of advanced ITT, where he teaches tally training. So we are very fortunate that Rajendra sir has taken out time from a very busy schedule. Thank you, sir, for being here today. Yeah, so I think without further delay, as from the audience, we can see that we want to start at the given time. A note to the audience, please do write your questions in Q&A so that we can keep a track and make sure to answer each of them. Thank you so much. Over to you, Rajendra sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so just uh, just for a connectivity purpose, I am disconnecting my uh, video camera. Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. That works. Thank you. So <clears throat> very good afternoon to all. So last time we have taken a session about job costing and project costing. That was a very amazing session by uh, many CEOs and also appreciating about the project costing concept. So again. Uh, there was a point that was uh, we have skipped about to job costing versus item costing. So first, I want to just briefing the concept of item cost tracking. So what is cost tracking and what is the difference between a project cost and item cost? This is the first I am uh, sharing some points here. Project cost is a cost which is incurred for a project for a whole project for example uh, that time i was taken one example of a builder uh, who is uh, having two and uh, three multiple sites for his construction so the cost of a site is called as project cost and the topic what is today we are going to see here that is item cost tracking okay so without further delay we are directly moving on tally so here is the company which is uh, selected. So just I'm closing that and we will start a company where some items are available so that we can save our time. So this is the company. Item cost tracking is the best feature, but which is normally not used by persons. The user is normally working on a running inventory. What is a running inventory? You can see item a purchased item b purchased item is sold item b sold that will just creating a stock summary you can see here like a normal stock summary so you are purchasing item and selling that item but you cannot say item purchased for xyz item and which is utilized for that item let's take one example and just I'm creating first, we are going to enable features here in F11. In F11, you have to enable cost tracking. See here, enable cost tracking. And exit below that option, there is an option for enable job costing. So enable job costing is a different concept, which is for project costing. Please understand. That is a project costing and I'm talking about enable cost tracking. That is item cost tracking. Okay. So just enable that option. Save. Okay. As you know, prime is having multiple options from go to, so you can do many things from go to also, but for a time being, I'm going through a routine way. Okay. Here, see, I'm creating a. Uh, the configuration criteria first I'm going to tell here. F11 enable cost tracking. That is the first criteria. Then in a voucher type, alter voucher type that is purchase. Okay. And here you can say track additional cost of purchase. 
okay if you are using a voucher in debit credit format that is called as voucher mode okay in tally there are invoice mode see here this is called as invoice mode and if you press control h and moving on as voucher that is called as voucher mode if you want to track some costing track some uh, attribution of cost okay so that will help you from that voucher type option okay but it is not required if you are using invoice mode voucher type this is invoice mode voucher type okay so next one is create a stock item create a stock item so let us take one item okay the difference between uh, item uh, cost tracking and job costing there is a main major difference is also uh, let's take one simple example i am a furniture uh, manufacturer and one item i am always manufacturing for all peoples that is uh, most demanded in market let's take one example of chair i have a special king size chair which is always demanded by my customers now what happens i am creating that manufacturing of the king size chair multi times for multi customers multi times for multi customers and i want to track a cost for specific order of chair okay i'm i'm typing here king size king size chair this is my uh, usp item you can say and that is most demanded so in pieces what is the scenario the king size chair will be demanded by multiple customers multiple times one is coming and saying me give me five chairs another is coming and saying me give me one chair normally if i am creating a item without enabling cost tracking what happens the purchasing of raw material purchasing maybe i am a trader of king size chair so purchasing of king size chair versus sale of king size chair i cannot track because automatically tally is considering by default valuation whatever you have given first in first out average or uh, last purchase cost that will be considered here we are tracking the purchase versus sale directly so i am pressing here yes i want to enable to track cost for this item king size chair okay and for timing i am not going into gst enabling and gst reporting etc just time pressing here control a okay and let's assume uh, uh, some raw material will be there for uh, chair raw material for chair okay so again i am not creating multiple items to save our time we have a uh, short time for uh, one and a half hour with q and a session so that is asking for whether you want to track this item also in that list so yes obviously that is my raw material nothing to do here only you have to enable cost tracking if that option is not having in your screen press f12 here f12 and you can enable these options okay so that is by default given by tally uh, tally prime so you can enable from here enable cost tracking and only cost tracking option is available when if you are enabled in f11 okay that is normal okay so what happens we have created a item that is a finished goods and we have created a raw material item and both items are having enable cost tracking is equal to yes okay right so also we will required one ledger so uh, that is called as uh, labor for furniture furniture okay that will be in that expenditure uh, here is the note uh, cost tracking is only applicable for 
indirect expenditure direct expenditure indirect income direct income and purchase account sales account that is not for current asset fixed asset and other accounts okay so here i am saying allow cost allocation okay allow cost allocation again this option is not there in your screen you can press f12 and enable from these options see the option cost tracking of stock item for ledger see here so by default that option is enabled so automatically the tell is asking me for configuration yes i want to track cost yes accept again i am not uh, enabling any gst rates and anything so what happens first enabling features then configuring masters like stock item voucher type or ledger simple and moving to the voucher directly and importantly in tally prime that is very amazing you can create cost tracking from sales order or sales or purchase any voucher type it is not required to create only for sales order and follow the process not required okay but for a time being i am considering one example a customer is asking me to manufacture a king size chair to quantity for his own use okay so i am pressing here control f8 control f8 obviously that is sales order and let's let's take a date first september okay and uh, what voucher number whatever party i am selecting here from my list so that is uh, random party i am selecting here uh, in party ledger sundry debtors or creditors uh, there is no any need to say anything about cost tracking okay now order number so let's assume that party is given me sale order 789 i uh, see uh, there may be slight confusion in users what is sale order number sale order number is a number may be order given by third party that party is three dot party so the party is issuing us order that order number i can put here or if that order is not in written that is verbal or telephonic then i can create my own order number okay you can create your own order number why order number is required to track this order in sales invoice so suppose that three dot party is sending me multiple orders in multiple uh, items and uh, various days so i can track which order is completed which is pending and which is overdue that is default feature of tally okay so i am just for example so789 is my sales order number next you can select here as usual a sales account cost center we can uh, forget it cost center is not required compulsory not required okay then here i am selecting that king size item and obviously it is asking a due date when that order you have to complete so again i am not going inside of that order linking and these types so just i am putting here that is due on the same day okay and again asking for a go down from which location you want to uh, dispatch that chair so Uh, if you are not having any go down system in your data that will be not asked don't worry so main location order is received for two chairs and one one chair is having cost of 45000 okay so obviously it is 90000 is my sales order value and this is the most important you have to create a tracking number now what is tracking number tracking number it is normal in tally 
you can see in against reference, new reference, advances, that is trackings. Batch wise is tracking. Job posting, project posting is also running on tracking system. TDS is running on tracking system. So tracking numbers are very important. Also, GRN is a tracking number for purchase. Order number is a tracking number for GRN. Goods receipt note. You can say as receipt note. So there are tracking number system in Delhi. So either you can select from available list. For example, my voucher number is there. 8890 is my voucher number. So I can track from that number or I can track even from my sale order number. That is SO789. It is better to track from sale order number. Okay. So 789 I am accepting here. Or if you want to create a new tracking number, you can select here new number. That is also available. Very nice feature given by Dell. So here you can put SO789. Just enter and accept. Again, we can take another example of uh, same chairs ordered by another party. Take any party. And that party is given an order number of. Uh, so let's take that order number given by that party. Okay. That is uh, Bajaj Finance. Okay. So B A J oblique 1, 2, 3. Sales. Again, king size chair. And let's assume a five quantity of chair they are asking for to manufacturing or 46,000 is well. Again, a number it is required to track this order. So I can take order number and accept. So what, what we have finished till here? Enabling company master, creating stock item ledgers, creating a sales order, multiple parties, same item ordered by the three dot company and Bajaj company with different tracking numbers and two different sales order. Moving next, assume I am going to purchase a material that is raw material for that chair manufacturing. Maybe a nut bolt, screw, cushion, or furniture, or wooden, or uh, you can say sun mic and uh, veneers and multiple materials are there. Whatever material your person is going to purchase from market, at that time, maybe that person is going to purchase a material by calculating available sales order. For example, we have five plus two, seven shares in hands, uh, orders in hands. So maybe possible a process is defined by owner that purchase material only on calculating sales order in hands. That is the first possibility. And second possibility, a person is going to purchase raw material without any consideration of sales order, he is going to buy material in bulk. Okay. So again, I'm moving to just create a purchase voucher F9. On 5th September, we are purchasing a material. That bill number is there. I am purchasing by cash or by party, whatever. That is not a big issue. Here are the supplementary details. You are selecting. Now, raw material of furniture. Okay. And no any JRN is tracked here. No any say purchase order is going to track here. And in main location, I will purchase that raw material. Suppose 40 quantity, 40, 40. Okay. Now what happens? First thing, let's assume that material is having 32, 30,000, for example. Tally is asking me for which job 
you can say for which item cost tracking number you want to track this purchase means a party that particular uh, ag enterprise from where i am going to purchase a material when i am sending my person to buy a material raw material so do we know for which sales order you are buying that material if you know specifically you can select if you don't know you are not confirm that purchase then you can select here not applicable so just i am selecting here not applicable i am not confirm them sure about 40 quantity okay that is possible okay so just i am saving this purchase voucher again on next day a purchase entry i am going to pass here for the same party no grn and no any other tracking so raw material i am going to purchase and here see the last voucher we have passed up for 40 quantities so 40 is in stock i am purchasing two quantities and specifically i am saying here for so789 and you can see how much quantity ordered which is tracked in this number so at the last column you can see two pieces sale order number voucher type number name okay then item name then party name and the next one is how much quantity demanded so two quantity asked to manufacture by that party via this sale order number this is tracking number yeah so for two i am selecting here two and if you want to track here another voucher or you can select here same item by another way you can select here main location and we are going to select five chairs five raw material for bajaj one two three and accept now chair is ready but the material is ready but the assembly system the labor worker now wants to just join the material make the polishing and he want to create a raw material in semi finish and semi finish in finish all processes are done and just i am going to pass some labor charges vouchers okay uh, so as you know you can press control h and after control h you can select here accounting invoice because accounting invoice is voucher where you can pass without inventory but you can pass any gst any expenditure ledger with all impact of taxation so instead of using as a voucher as a voucher please use accounting invoice so again i am passing here some demo invoice so assume that i am paying a cash payment cash purchase that is cash purchase to labor charges labor for furniture and what is the amount uh, take 15000 and as you press the amount 15000 tell is asking you for which sales order you are going to manufacture you are going to pay the service charges so i am selecting here for bajaj automatically item is selected for bajaj king size chair and it is not required to again track quantity 15000 or you can also select here multiple cost for example you can put here 10000 10000 and you can select here 
order number is so 789 and it is 5000 it means you can pass a single voucher for multiple labor charges payments like cost center you can bifurcate the amount in multiple cost attribution or allocations accept so in a case of first order the price just a minute uh, i will just change because of the first order of bajaj is for five pieces yeah correct so five pieces will be obviously having more labor charges with comparison with two pieces yeah so that is okay move to reports that is finish this is the only set of company and master selection uh, configuration then in a sales order or any sales or anything you are you can create a tracking number in purchase voucher in payment voucher in every vouchers you can track a cost for that tracking number till now the chairs are ready but we are not still making a sales voucher for any part but just for checking reports you can either go to alter g go to stock cost analysis or a traditional way you can use display statement of inventory and item cost analysis item cost analysis again i am showing here display statement of inventory item cost analysis so because of building construction maybe some sound dis disturbance is there okay so here you can uh, select by group group wise here you can select by stock item so you can choose your tracking item for example that king size share is our tracking item okay so you can see here multiple orders with only expenditures with only cost no any revenue is generated okay then you can track from cost tracking breakup so by tracking numbers you can also track see just uh, i am again showing here cost tracking breakup i am passing selecting a tracking number and it is by default showing with groups if you want to show with uh, detail press alter f1 and <clears throat> you can see a order received uh, the first is first is the tracking detail the tracking is order name the party and how much quantity and location the other details then purchase account so we have purchased the five raw material see here raw material for chair and 30000 was cost so 150000 is my total cost and also labor charges as a indirect expenditure and that is 10000 so now total cost is 150000 plus 10000 so 160000 is my total cost same way we can see here 789 order and that is 63 65000 per two shares so there is no any revenue we have not booked any revenue so part b is empty see here part b is empty first part is total cost plus expenditures you can say second part is revenue that is income and whatever balance is available of that chair that will be your balance of cost so we are passing the entry for two chairs first okay so let's pass the entry vouchers sales okay so just for example i am pushing here s1 the selling sale invoice number and i have to select here item invoice first control h item invoice sale order number and that first party was three dot and 
and don't forget to track orders here you have to track orders so 789 was the tracking order just control press control a and everything is selected you have to now select proper location and your item is just a minute uh, wrong item is selected just a minute by default wrong item is selected three dot okay that order number is this was seven eight nine items included in that sales order will be part of your items of sales invoice okay so here two pieces i am going to select and a tracking number is so 789 so tracking number is must if you are uh, just imagine about your new new references against references why uh, the receivable payable statements is not telling with about your um, you can say ledger ledger showing 100 rupees amount and outstanding is showing 110 So just I'm tracking. No. And see the first display statement of inventory, item cost analysis, cost tracking, and 789. Okay. So what happens? The total cost was sixty-five thousand, and king size shares. I am selling two pieces at forty-five thousand. So ninety thousand is my total revenue. Ninety thousand minus sixty-five thousand is twenty-five thousand. My profit. And below the statement, tell is going to show here how many purchase orders, how many items you are manufacturing. How many sales order received? How many material is in your stock? Okay, so let's pass one entry, not with all inventory items. For example, uh, five pieces order received, and we are going to sell out of five, we are selling only three. So what happens? Voucher, sale two, Bajaj. and tracking number you have to select here order that is also tracking number please understand tracking number is available in orders available in deliver note so that is delivery notes so they, all these are tracking numbers accept and what happens out of five only four i am going to sell or only three i am going to sell okay forty six thousand is amount okay no problem Cost tracking with BAJ123 cost and accept. What different way I am using here? I am not selling all items ordered by that party. I want to still hold two pieces in my premises. It means the cost for five quantities and revenue for only three quantities. So check the report, display, inventory books, item cost analysis, cost tracking, and Bajaj. Bajaj, okay. So here I am pressing Ultra F2. And in Ultra F2, you can see here, One lakh sixty thousand is my total cost, as one lakh fifty thousand is my purchased. Then ten thousand is my indirect expenditure. Okay, and whatever revenue I have received here, that is one lakh thirty-eight thousand. It means now I am in twenty-two thousand loss because the cost occurred for five pieces and. We are not selling these five or only selling five quantities. So 
here one thing you have to understand the below is the table order received of five pieces material delivered of three pieces and material build of three pieces so if you are selling a material below the quantity whatever you have manufactured obviously it will be a loss okay so that is only for cost tracking concept i am not going to mix up job costing and cost tracking because cost tracking is available in tally but we are not using because of job costing and cost tracking is always mixed up so first understand two different concepts job costing as i am telling in my last video that is a project costing or you can use it is also as a job cost both and this is a tracking of cost and if you are merging the both then you will be get, getting a proper report for stock see here i am just putting enter on all items so the report will be there which cost that is for expenditure or vouchers like labor charges or purchase of raw material and what is your revenue that is sales invoice and what is your profit or loss so everything is maintained by a tally and that is very easy and nice way okay so uh, suppose suppose we are not we are not in position to understand the costing and cost concepts that is suggested by me to create a multiple data given pc one data for job costing one is for cost analysis one is for normal entries and you can analyze all reports so i will show uh, if you have any queries then i can show here uh, other features also no issue about that costing but why it is necessary please understand why it is necessary to create a tracking number because when i am going to see a normal stock statement see here a uh, chair king size chair we can see from display inventory book stock item see what happens we just selling we just selling 3 and 2 pieces total 5 pieces we are not manufacturing these goods suppose we are manufacturing these goods then it will be like a total material input inward outward and closing so that is also possible we have also given examples okay but till now any questions any queries are there then we can move on because the concept of cost tracking is normally used in manufacturing but i am just telling here to all participants you can use this feature in normal trading also like a chair suppose you are buying chairs from third party and you are going to trade these chairs to xy party what happens you are doing trading of chair not manufacturing of chair so that is also possible and you can track your trading cost also not only for manufacturing whenever i am asking about cost tracking people are saying the about only manufacturing you can track for not only manufacturing you can track for trading also so any doubt first i want to ask here anyone so uh there's a question in q and a about to understand the difference between project costing and job cost yeah very nice question and uh, that was also i am expecting that question because this is the most important question and here is the confusion of students or whatever users are there the first difference please understand project costing is you can say a combination of cost center plus go down cost center plus go down 
see again i am repeating cost center is the concept of finance godown is the concept of inventory and we are going to when you are combining these uh, both that is called as f11 and job costing if you are enabling job costing tell is allowing you to select cost center plus godown for all items and cost center plus godown for financing entries also now what happens only if you are creating cost centers and go downs and job costing feature is not enabled then what happens inventory vouchers will asking for only go down finance vouchers will asking only for cost centers okay and a project is project means suppose a builder is developing a site at pune okay like uh, you can say chinswad so in that area there may be four or five sites of same builder and he want to track cost for a project that is called as project costing all vouchers of that project tracking number will be cost of that project all revenue for that project will be profit for that uh, revenue for that project but here the difference is you are not going to enable even cost centers you are not going to enable even go downs not required why in builder case the builder will be selling a flat once in a time once he sold that flat or that site is completed completely sold then no any voucher will be occurred on that site but in cost tracking what happens once i am selling king size bed king size chair two quantity again i am selling king size chair three quantity four quantity five quantity one item repeatedly we are going to sell in market and i want to track each time what is the purchase what is the cost what is the purchase what is the cost so this feature is useful even for traders also means uh, a mobile a mobile purchased for sale purpose i am mobile shopkeeper i am purchasing a mobile multi uh, quantity or uh, you can say bulk quantity and i am selling that quantity in market so i am retailer purchasing in wholesale rate or quantity and selling in retail counter what happens we can track cost by batch because batch is a imian number for that mobile number mobile sends it so i can track from batch but suppose same example i am purchasing a laptop and selling in market i am not maintaining with batch wise details what happens i cannot get i cannot calculate cost for each laptop versus sale of that particular laptop same lab, i am not tracking anything anywhere how tell you will give me a report that which item you was purchased and exactly that is sold take another example i purchased a two laptop again i purchased Rajinder, two laptop sir. yeah yeah uh, neeraj ji from uh, is mentioning about the opening balance difference uh, he is insisting on that if you can address that sorry please in, in in the chat message if you can see yeah just a minute uh... yeah Please, sir, about difference opening balance about different. Okay, opening balance difference is the different concept. Actually, that is not related with our topic today's topic. But uh, uh, timely, I'm just uh, sharing here. Uh, maybe you are uh, asking about a difference which is showing in balance sheet. This is difference in opening balance. I hope uh, that is the exactly question. So why difference is coming? first go inside of any ledger alteration any and you can see here a difference any ledger window you are going to alter and if you feel have uh, any difference in opening balance that will be showing and what is the difference difference it means you have entered opening balance for only 
a ledger and its contra effect you are not showing for example current asset fixed assets are in available in uh, closing balance and you have put that balance as opening balance 1 lakh and 2 lakh that is 3 lakhs and you are not putting any capital left side of the balance sheet any not secured unsecured loan secured loan okay what happens 3 lakh will be asset and liability will be zero automatically that will be 3 lakh difference in opening balance liability side if not tallying with asset those are not equal then what happens tally not going to show different figures at different sites it is not showing that asset is 3 lakh and liability is zero tally will always make tally these figures and difference amount will be showing that different in opening balance so please check your balance sheet open all ledgers you can also uh, modify from multi vouchers and that is also available in tally so the yeah. other question in chat box is huh. will the tracking numbers of cost will be carried forward when we split the company uh, that is amazing question actually uh, actually tracking numbers sale orders cost centers are not going to track uh, not going to carry forward for next year okay uh, even sales orders will be not carried forward for next year your question will be next that why because these are not vouchers these are only trackings okay so these will not carry for for next year uh, uh, so we don't have any further questions but so we please use hindi yeah same one is uh, sir hindi uh, kar sakte hai lekin the problem is that uh, there are many students jaise bahut sare hai yahan pe attendees jo from uh, north maharashtra aur wahan se bhi hai नॉर्थ में बैसो तो वहां से थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है ओके सो यू कैन आस्क वेन यूर यू हैव टाइम यू कैन व्हाट्सअप मी एंड आई विल शेयर यू माय टॉपिक ऑन द सेम कंटेंट इन हिंदी डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ओके इन केस ऑफ अ स्क्वेरी वी कैन एड्रेस द सेम इन हिंदी या इन पर्टिकुलर या या लेट्स कंटिन्यू दैट वी आर प्रेफरिंग इंग्लिश यस थैंक यू या एक्जेक्टली सर विल कीप कंटिन्यू इन इंग्लिश ओनली for any yeah. particular doubt we can address in hindi yeah yeah thank you uh, so uh, thanks for uh, till now and uh, suppose you are manufacturing of goods in anywhere in delhi so uh, you can also track these types of costing uh, that uh, my first uh, always i am saying to all participants to use default feature and with a simple manner uh, we know the simplicity of tally is our wording and first you have to enable the feature and you can also get help from tally uh, help side so first i am sharing here help and tally help you can press f1 button also and here you can put your cost item cost tracking you can put here item cost tracking see here track item cost in tally prime okay and you can get all information about your cost tracking but for time being i am taking one dummy example of king size share you can create a multiple items with multiple ledgers and multiple costing now the last point last point of the session that is very important for you all the the point is suppose suppose a person created multiple cost tracking numbers and that order is finished now further we don't want that number to be carried forward for next order for example i am pressing here f5 payment or you can press whatever uh, purchase voucher and i am putting here cash and labor charges labor for furniture okay and here sorry labor for furniture suppose 2000 and now see here 
that is showing me one, two, three, four multiple stock tracking numbers. What happens if my order is finished? Bajaj and the three dot party that orders are now finished. I don't want to make further sale to that order, that party. I don't want to use this tracking number in future. So there is a best facility given by Tally. You can close your tracking numbers. See, when you are using inventory with batch details, there is no any option to close that batch. If that batch is having zero closing balance, then there is an option to show zero closing balance batches in voucher or not. But there is no any option to close that batch. That batch will be remain open. But here is the option like a sales order or purchase order. There is an option to close your tracking numbers. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, from audience, people are maybe not knowing about closure of purchase and sale orders. The feature is available to select the order and close it. So I am just sharing here how to close that tracking number. Why it is required? Because suppose I have multiple orders in multiple times. So the user will be confused. So which order he will select? So once my order is completed, why should be showing in the table? So that purpose, you can select our report, item cost analysis, cost tracking breakup, select, and you can say here, uh, just a minute, not change view, you can select from, yeah, see here from stock group, stock group, selecting all groups, all tracking numbers are there, ultra F1. So suppose I want to close this one, so I can select by spacing, uh, pressing space bar, and right side is the option, ultra yes. You can see my cursor is there. I'm just moving my cursor to show the button. That is close cost track. So press close cost track, click here and you can select, see what happens actually from here, you are not going to close cost track. You have to press button here and inside that report, tally showing cost tracking, select space bar. Suppose I want to also close this and this. Okay. So I can select here, close cost track. So here you can see only one is open, only one is open. Now all whatever trackings are there are closed and let us see again in payment voucher. Cash, labor for purchase. So let's take 5,600 and see here, there is no any cost table, only the status having open, the cost tracking, which is having open tracking. Closed track cost centers, uh, cost trackings will be not part of this table. So this is beautifully handled by Tally. Okay, so I can select here that cost. And suppose what happens if that feature is not given by Tally? So what user we will do, user will select not applicable. And the final result will be wrong appropriation of cost. Because if the user is confused, user is confused, which cost track he has to select and which is correct cost tracking because of owner and MIS will be demanding proper reporting. So in confusion, he has to finish the voucher. He will select simply not applicable and your entire report will be wrong. So instead of that, the user, that administrator or any, uh, any senior authority should close unwanted cost trackings. So that is my last uh, topic and that is request also to all, please close unwanted cost tracks. 
that will be uh, a better presentation for user okay जैसे हिंदी में भी कोई मतलब यूजर के लिए अगर वो टेबल सही चकाचक रहेगा तो यूजर गलत ऑप्शन चूज भी नहीं करेगा और नॉट एप्लीकेबल भी चूज नहीं करेगा ओनली ओपन कॉस्ट ट्रैक इसको दिखेंगे एंड ही विल हैप्पी सो दैट्स एक्चुअली कंप्लीटेड फ्रॉम माय साइड एंड जस्ट आई वांट टू शो टू थ्री रिपोर्ट ऑफ दैट कॉस्ट ट्रैकिंग display inventory reports and cost tracking uh, sorry item cost analysis and if you are selecting here cost group so tally is showing that is again one beautiful report tally is showing only those item having cost tracking enabled cost tracking enabled what happens the cost tracking enabled for three items and total cost total income uh, balance of cost and whatever your profit okay now what happens if i press alter f1 alter f1 so tell is showing me all detailed tracking of that item see here king size share total seven pieces into bracket see order received from seven pieces at which point i am creating my tracking numbers tell is showing me the total of pieces that is seven pieces and the seven pieces bifurcated into order number tracking number 1 and tracking number 2 so this is also beautiful report by tally so you can uh, enter by pressing enter and you can again go inside see here so that tracking is closed now so the tracking is not available only one tracking is there available so that is showing so this is very uh, nicely handled and here you can select um, individual stock item so for example sorry uh, king size king size so here item wise cost bifurcations you can see here okay and last one is cost tracking breakup so cost tracking breakup is nothing but uh, a list of that tracking numbers which is created by user in item uh, sales order or uh, purchase order or sales entry okay jaha jaha isne create kiya hoga number ट्रैकिंग नंबर वहां से उसकी लिस्ट लेके यहाँ पे आ जाएगा और यू कैन क्लिक और प्रेस एंटर फ्रॉम दैट नंबर एंड यू कैन सी रिपोर्ट सो दैट इज यू कैन सी बाय ट्रैकिंग नंबर वाइज रिपोर्टिंग देन आइटम वाइज रिपोर्टिंग एंड ग्रुप वाइज रिपोर्टिंग ओके and you can press f12 and you can enable disable your features and sorting methods are there okay expand all levels and you can see all configuration options and by that way here also you can see all concept see percentage if you want to see percentage group wise ledger wise okay you can group select here ledger wise so what happens left side the options will be not saying as in direct expenditure direct expenditure tell is going to show with all a b c d ledgers okay by alphabet okay so uh, this is again uh, interested feature so here right side is the button also ledger wise so if you press here ledger wise okay and group wise see so ledger wise means in cost tell is showing me directly that ledger and tracking amount uh, tracking item see in group wise tell is showing me indirect expenditure purchase account is the group indirect expenditure is the group by that way and this is interesting if you are uh, manufacturing a material okay that is also considered in this part uh, any questions further on this topic one in q and a is there yeah yeah 
suppose I manufacture for stocking requirement without sales order, how to track these cost and profit? Uh, there is no actually not required to create only from sales order. See, I am pressing here directly sales voucher or directly you can create a manufacturing journal. Okay, so just a minute. I'm just selecting a, any purchase sales ledger and king size uh, here. I'm putting quantity and go down. So suppose for quantity and here I can select a new number. So here I am putting here sales order, not required. I am selecting a new number. I, I, I can see here um, X, Y, Z tracking and save. So not necessary. So first at the time of first, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, voucher creation and before that F11, I already told that it is not necessary to create a cost tracking when only you are creating a sales order. You can create cost tracking numbers in sales voucher or anywhere. The condition is that your stock item must have enabled. See here, stock item. This option must be there. Finish. Enable cost tracking. If it is set as yes, then at any point of voucher, you can create your own tracking number. And uh, relating to your query, if the manufacturer is not receiving any sales order and the directly manufacturing material, at that time he can create cost tracking, no problem. Okay. So there's another question. Yeah. How to carry forward the open sales order and it's tracking number to next financial year yeah, or it will be automatically carried forward to next financial year. Yeah, but uh, that was actually uh, answered before uh, uh, that last question and decision. That is not okay. possible to carry for a sales order. Okay. Uh, sales orders are not impacting to inventory, also not impacting to my accounts. So see batch wise, batch wise data is impacting my stock because that is part of my stock item okay but see cost centers cost centers are not carry forwarding so that is the logic of tally because it is a financial data and what happens if ledger balance is zero and cost center having balance of 100 rupees so that will be problematic same way suppose sales order are pending for 100 quantity and you want to carry so how many data you want to carry forward Barty ledger, item master, order number, schedule of that order, everything you have to carry forward. Better way, you can pass a sales order on 1st April, 1st April, and there is an option actually. Uh, I don't know how many uh, from us are knowing about this. Uh, effective date you can use. There is an effective date in voucher type, and you can use and try by that way for. Uh, 1st April is the voucher and effective date will be 31st March. So just uh, you have to make some R&D on that. And there is a, there is a uh, YouTube channel RB Mithari and you can see there is an option I am given effective date. Even in tally knowledge session, there is a uh, video available on tricks on voucher type. So in that also I am showing about effective date. So maybe it is useful for you. But by default, Tally is not going to uh, carry forward your sales order and uh, cost trackings. Okay, still any question is there? Uh, so in the chat, uh, although I don't quite understand, we, so we can ask Mr. Neeraj. Okay, Neeraj is saying so, that, uh, please sir, about me as voucher and item inventory. Uh, so can uh, can you please uh, uh, share directly uh, allow him to talk yeah i will do that so so are we done with the yeah. presentation with the thing yeah yeah okay uh, there's another question in q a what reports to refer for project costing uh, better way you have to just just i am showing here because that question is repeatedly asking so i am showing showing on my screen uh, 
my screen is visible madam now yes sir yeah yes. so on tally tally solutions project costing uh, there are many uh, users asking for project costing so go inside for resource resource okay in resource you can move on ca community actually you can also move on youtube tally knowledge session so here webinars webinars and in webinar uh, there is a topic by me yeah this is job costing and project costing so directly uh, refer this topic this video it is directly uh, for builders costing and whatever you are asking for project costing in a single video you will get 100% output of project costing yeah uh, and neeraj uh, i think uh, one was pending mr neeraj so mr neeraj can you uh, unmute yourself yeah i have given him the permission uh, neeraj ji are you here please uh, yeah. in, uh, about me as about me as i think there's a typo or something yeah yeah, so yeah. If, okay yeah. voucher and item inventory you see i think uh, he is asking about uh, item inventory and voucher so just blindly i am saying him because he is not unmuting himself so here uh, item invoice is a invoice which is having inventory impact as well as accounting impact and here importantly gst ev bill e invoice all features will be enabled by default in a non inventory and non item you can say as a voucher that is not invoice that is a as voucher here if you select cgst hgst and whatever calculations are there you have to put by manually and you also cannot select analysis data see here alter a will not work here that is the difference okay i think that question is related with this so i am answering blindly yeah any queries uh, no further questions sir and i have also put a youtube link of the project yeah. costing webinar so anyone can refer to that yeah but uh, uh, for uh, closing note again i am telling all uh, participants that costing concept is very deep and tally have capacity to carry multiple costing concepts like accounting standards uh, like accounting standard as2 uh, that is also available is there in there then you can see average costing weighted average costing there are uh, uh, last and uh, for, uh, you can say lifo and fipo methods okay so but these are costing methods these are costing tools but whatever we are talking today and that uh, job costing video that both sessions are talking about a concept where a user is going to track cost of sales in short cost of sales what is cost of sales my purchases labor charges maintaining of material finishing of material dispatch charges hamali uh, loading and unloading all charges related with the sale invoice related with the tracking number you can track and you can get exact costing of that bill uh, last uh, week one ca is asking me everything is proper and why gross loss is there one data i was watching and that was amazing there are grouping problem and some ledgers are grouped under indirect expenditure but wrongly data is entered in indirect expenditure which is related to gross revenue in short i am just telling here if cost tracking is not there you can get a gp gross profit by sales register it is okay but you cannot get a proper net profit because may be possible that that user or that manufacturer is doing mistakes suppose uh, i have 2% profit in my product 
and my distribution cost and uh, packing and moving cost and loading and transporting cost is more than than my profit what happens finally loss will be occurred so manufacturer is always happy with gross profit or gross loss but uh, we as a ca or many uh, mis reporting or owners or these are these are actually working on net profit so grouping is the only representation but what is final the net profit is final so agar wo bande galat accounting karenge to mera galat representation ho jayega okay so uh, better you can enable your cost tracking so there is another question uh, huh? is cost center enabling mandatory for project costing yes or is and is cost center the reply for project costing report yeah 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 that is the very nice question uh, cost center is financial term that is uh, called as profit center in the standard way it is called as profit center okay and uh, go down for inventory purpose okay that is called in prime as a location so if you see here go down and it is may be a location it is may be a process it is may be a uh, you can say process flow okay um, actually may be a storage so go down is compulsory for inventory cost center is compulsory for finance in case of job costing and another setting is compulsory that cost center and go down it should be mapped in all uh, concept here if you see use for job costing option will be there if you enable uh, now this is not our topic actually so i am not going inside of that topic enable this enable this and if you alter your go down so here one option will be added that use for and cost center must be required cost center should be there okay and tally will ask you allow to uh, store material allow for job costing and here you have to create cost centers in this data cost centers are required okay so uh, i think that is enough for your uh, query sure so i think we have no further questions so that will be all i mean there are a lot of people who are asking about the video recording we will definitely upload it so you can also go like uh, as rajendra sir showed in our tally website under resources ca community or you can directly go to community.tallysolutions.com and under webinars you can see what is the upcoming webinar and at the same time all the recorded webinars held at tally ca connect and it will also be uploaded in our youtube channel under tally ca connect yeah and madam uh, for that da last question just i am open a screen here and okay sure sir that that question is asked by two and three times so uh, even though it is not related with our current topic i'm just showing here how a go down is going to map for cost center see this is my go down and it is used for job costing and tally is asking me for a cost center see the right side is the cost center actually go down a is my cost center see you can see here cost center go down a i am saying here use for job costing and in a go down i am mapping that go down to this cost center so here we are bridging inventory with accounts actually and that will be your project costing because project is financial part and costing is inventory part and i am joining it as project costing so please watch that video and that will really help for you and even uh, this recording will be also available after a uh, uh, few days and you can also watch this recording also uh, that is finished from my side madam yes so i think no further questions so we can conclude our today's session yeah so before that thank you so much sir for being the best speaker and uh, thank you so much for the audience for staying here with us and asking the best questions so i will now end the webinar i will make sure that the videos get uploaded in a day or two thank you yeah. rajinder yeah thank you